G'day there, Snake of Bacon here. Day 2 of GameCube week, I'm going to review SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. And to prove that I'm serious, I'm going to eat... This cricket. SpongeBob time. Take our little tiny disc and put it in the GameCube. Oh, Wave Race is still in there. Right, my webcam is terrible. What a silly dream. Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Krab. Like that it ever happened. Hmm. Now, yeah, obviously that happens. That's not even the main story point of this game. The main point is that the Flying Dutchman, this green ghostly figure here, is found by Spongebob and Gary, and takes Gary back to work on his ship. You know, like... Uh, like speaking, Pirates of the Caribbean 2 with Will Turner. The one who you Never mind. Ooh, that's a this is SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, or Spusperoftver. And as proof of SpongeBob's complete lack of attention span, he's already forgotten about Gary and his opposition Patrick, fetch quests. Okay? Not okay, not okay. Something fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. I can't get up there to fix the thing, and I'm missing all my favorite shows. No. Oh, that's too bad. I wish there was something I could do to help. Ah, uh, but there is. You can get up there if you try. Hold the duck button, then press the jump button to reach high places. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? I'm missing my shows. A real buddy would get up there and make my life complete again. Ah, uh, oh, barnacles. Now, I don't know too much about Spongebob, but I know that this isn't the same French narrator. This guy's weird. Find the two workers who placed the order. Some of the other workers might try to take the food from you. Order up! Apart from the narrator, all of the other voices are genuine, and all of those characters from that show are here. So, fans of the show will like that. I'm much more of a Ren and Stimpy fan myself, so I don't really appreciate this game, but whatever. I got it for free, it came with my GameCube. The game isn't particularly challenging, though if there is any real challenge in the game, it's only because of how vague it can be. Yes, deliver food to the foreman. Yeah, but what foreman? This took me ages. Who am I looking for? George Foreman? See, the game uses this sense of confusing false difficulty to make the game last more than an hour. And that's not very nice, but then again, I can't really accuse just this game of doing that because practically every kid's game of the last few years has done that. Apart from LEGO games, the only really good kid's games we've had were, well, Spyro, and that was a decade ago. I'm sure there are plenty of others, but you get my point. Still, this game is much, much better than a lot of that Wii shovelware, like... Well, there are many examples. Right, I should actually talk about this game. Uh, what do you do? Right, you... complete menial tasks, you get letter tiles, and with those letter tiles you... Well, you get them all, and then you do some random puzzle. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making it sound much worse than it is. This game really isn't that bad. It's, it's okay, but... I wrote down the other two addresses for yeah, you. It, Make sure it wasn't to... intended for my demographic, and I can't gain any enjoyment from it. See, there are kids' games that you can enjoy too. Assuming that the you I'm talking to is someone older than 14. Like, like LEGO games. Yeah, everyone can enjoy LEGO games. Or Mario games. Or Little Big Planet. That's appropriate for anyone. Or Resident Evil 4. No, no, no. I'm getting a bit sidetracked now. I really want to go play Resident Evil 4. 
but I gotta focus on this review. So, uh, back to what I was saying. As far as kids' games go, this is quite a good one. It's enjoyable and fun and that, and yeah. If you have a child or a younger brother or a sibling or whatever, or even you, if you are six and you like SpongeBob, you'll probably like this game. But it's kind of old, and well, you're not gonna see it in shops, I assure you. But if you find it at a garage sale or something, then uh. Well, suggest it to your parents or brother or whatever that they buy it, because you know, you'll probably like it. It's a nice little adventure game. It's pretty simple, but that's alright. It still requires you to engage your brain. It's not just a mindless waggle your Wiimote at the TV kind of game. No, this uses controllers and requires thinking skills. So many thinking skills, in fact, that I got lost in this city and couldn't deliver this package. Then again, I'm not really paying attention or caring because this game doesn't engage me. But, it will certainly keep those very young Spongebob fans excited, though. The game is also available on PS2, though from what I hear, the PS2 version is not as good. I don't actually know, but, yeah. I think it's pretty much the same, just it didn't really receive the same kind of positive response because I guess the PS2, the game has a pretty poor frame rate, but I don't think kids care about that in the slightest. And it is also available for the PlayStation 2 and a completely different game with the same name for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, various critics and websites have voted the GameCube version as the best. Um, I don't know why, it's pretty much exactly the same as the PlayStation 2 version, but well, whatever, it's just better apparently. Oh, I should also add, you don't actually need a GameCube to play this game. Just in case you didn't know, all GameCube games work perfectly fine with Wii, but you need a GameCube controller.